Welcome back to Minneapolis, and this is the first game of the Mariucci Classic for 1994 as our intermission continues from Mariucci Arena. And our welcome now to Jack Parker, the coach of the Terriers. Jack, your last trip to the Twin Cities was back in March to St. Paul when you brought a team to the Final Four in the NCAA, and uh, now a little bit look, different look on your team this year. Yeah, much different look. We got a lot of the same people back, but we also have uh, the guys that made us a real physical team last year graduated, and we're a, a little bit more of a skilled team, I think, with the addition of uh, Chris O'Sullivan up front and some of the freshmen that we've moved into the lineup. For uh, the folks watching in the upper Midwest, give us uh, an idea of what it means for the losses uh, of the three players uh, to the National Junior or the World Junior Tournament. Well, Greer is our number. Mike Greer is our number one scorer. He's got 17 goals in uh, 15 games, so we're obviously going to miss him. Uh, Sean Bates has been a terrific player for us, uh, a real offensive threat and a uh, penalty killer, and plays some of the power play as well. And Chris Kelleher is a defenseman who's a freshman who's played an awful lot as a freshman and given us some steady blue line play. So uh, we we're fortunate that we've got everybody back and healthy who was injured earlier in the year that, that wouldn't, we're not in the lineup earlier, so we're, we're going to be able to absorb the losses a little bit better than we would have had we had the other guys banged up. You've scored 21 uh, goals in your last two games. Both victories uh, brings your season average now to up over six goals per game. Is this an offensive machine we're watching this weekend? Uh, not a consistent offensive machine. I think that it, we do have the ability to put the puck in the net. We've, uh, we've done it pretty well. Uh, but there have been times when it looks like our offense has disappeared as well, so uh, I'm not quite sure. I thought we'd be a real solid defensive team and struggle offensively this year. Uh, the opposite is really held true. We, we've been able to put the puck in the net a little bit easier than I thought, and we have been uh, not as consistent as I'd like defensively. In terms of personnel, give us an update on uh, your uh, used-to-be injured goaltender Derek Holoski, uh, recovering well enough to play this weekend, you think? Absolutely. I'm real pleased. Uh, when he first went down, we thought, He'd be back by mid-January, and it'd be too bad that he misses the opportunity to play in, uh, in his hometown. But uh, he will play tomorrow night. Uh, he made a real good recovery, and he's looked pretty sharp in practice. Jack, you're playing, uh, playing on an Olympic-sized rink here. It will not be uh, uncommon for you in the future, as Hockey East will go to larger rinks. Some of your thoughts about a larger size surface of ice. I don't think there's any question that's the wave of the future. Uh, it, it makes for a better game, a more skilled game. Uh, this is a real big 200 by 100 rink. We played up at UMass earlier, and this, this rink seems bigger than that. Uh, we're going to build a new rink, but ours is going to be 200 by 90, uh, which is the way Vermont is right now, and that seems to be a nice uh, mix of ability to floor check and still be able to get away from people. Uh, Northeastern is expanding their rink to a 200 by 100, but again, uh, like the old 200 by 85, some rinks were big 285s and some were small. This is a very big 200 by 100, and we'll have our, we'll have our problems adjusting early, that's for sure. Okay, Jack, thanks very much for joining us, and we'll continue with more of our intermission here in Mariucci Arena. For uh, those of you watching in the Upper Midwest, we'll bring you highlights. For those of you watching back out east on WABU, you'll be taking a news break and then join us for the uh, second period face-off. We'll continue with more after this.